Whenever you see a Nigerian or where Nigerians are gathered, please hold yourself. Don't tell them the truth because Nigerians hate to hear the truth. They can't contain the truth. Yet, Nigerians always taunt their political leaders to tell them the truth, but they cannot handle the truth. Yesterday, I made a video on this channel. That's the video before this video. I said a lot of things about Nigerians, our attitude towards our own nation. Nigerians gathered in the comment section, they started insulting me, they started saying all manners of things. Please watch the video and tell me if there is any place I insulted Nigerians for no reason. In fact, for any reason at all. If you find any place like that, please stitch it and tag me. Now, to portray my point, in your house, all of you, you, your children, loved ones, maybe extended families, you all are living together in one, you know, house. And then whenever you keep money or maybe whatever thing, whatever important, valuable materials, these things keep missing. And you can't hold anyone responsible. You cannot specifically point on anyone that you are the one stealing. All of you now resolve to put maybe fixing CCTV camera in the home. After fixing the CCTV camera, your money keep missing. Your valuable items keep missing. Now, instead of you to go check the CCTV camera, you refuse to check the CCTV camera, but you kept on complaining. Hey, my things keep missing. The ideal thing is for you to check the CCTV camera. That is it. But no. Now, if you relate this whole scenario to Nigerians and the government, Nigerians keep complaining. The government has actually put in different medium through which you can hold them accountable. But we don't want to. We are not interested. What we are interested in is just to complain. As if your complaint will change an inch of a problem. As, as if any of your politicians are listening to your complaint. They are not. Some of you call on radio programs to complain, to lay complaint. Do you think they are listening? <laughs> you that you are complaining. Have you ever seen a Nigerian coming online? Or coming to any of our traditional media to say, I have these documents to show that so 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 minister, so 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 commissioner, so 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 uh, lawmaker, so 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 government official was given so 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 amount of money in so 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 day, and this money was released for a particular project. But as I'm speaking to you now, you video the project, this project is yet to kickstart, and we've been waiting for months. If you are able to do that. You just set that political leader on fire. You just set his life, his house, and everything he stands or everything he represents on fire. If you do that, DSS cannot come and arrest you. Not even the army, not nobody. That political official now has questions to answer. Do you understand? To hold these guys accountable is very easy. The only problem is that you just have to be patient, go through the rigorous process with them. Know their discussion, know how much they are being given, know everything and the reason that money is being given. Know the monthly allocation that is being allocated to your state. And know how the governor and his commissioners are sharing the money. Know the sharing quota. So that when you are talking, you talk with facts. When the politicians hear you talk, they will be like, hey, this one, no be ordinary Nigerian. Do you understand? Coming out to scream without fact and evidence that our politicians are looting our money. Our politicians is not a name of a person. Uh, our leaders are looting our money. Our leaders is not a name of a person. All your complaints, whether in the beer parlor, in public, uh, public uh, places, in, uh, in the cab, in public transport, the leaders are not hearing them. You are not sampling anybody's name. None of them is feeling concerned. You need to mention their names. Men, be specific with your details. And the reason we are so like Adasika is because we've not come to realize some, 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 some things. Let me tell you, a government and her citizens is more or less like a large group of people that own a lot of resources. Hmm? These people are so large that they are so confused, they don't even know how to share the resources. They now say, okay, you, 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 they now pick some people in their midst and said, take these resources, share them equally, let it go around, manage it. See how we can have more resources. Maintain the sources where we are having these resources. Maintain it. Are you getting me? And let's use this, whatever dividend, whatever profit we make from these resources to develop our land. Now, 
if you see it from this perspective, it then means that you are actually employing your political leaders. So they are actually not leaders, they are servants. They are servants. They are not leaders. Now, relate this whole scenario to where you are working now. If you are a security person, you are a teacher, you are a banker, you are this. When you were employed, they set up a monetary team that will be monitoring your activities. If you are a teacher, you write your lesson notes. If you are a banker, you have your whatever sheets to, you know, tender. At the end of the day, you submit to your team leader. Your team leader will now look at it. Now, take for instance, when you were employed in the current place where you are working, nobody is supervising you. Nobody is monitoring you. You see that you'll be so like Adasika about the business. You'll be so like Adasika about your job. It's human tendency. These are human inclinations. So when you don't hold these political guys that you've employed, when you don't hold them accountable, they will misbehave. They will lose the money because they know nobody's checking on them. You need to understand these things. So when I say we are failing on, on, on our duty, you should understand what I'm saying. We've employed these guys and we all have the collective duty to hold them accountable. Scrutinize them. Ask them the important questions. Not to be making general statements, oh, they are losing our money. Who are the day? Is they a name of a person? Nigeria is an industry. Nigeria is a business that is owned by every Nigerian. It is because we are not sounding this thing in the hearing of everyone. Every Nigerian have a share. Every Nigerian is a shareholder in Nigeria. So you can't leave it for some people to destroy. You can't leave it for some people that, oh, these are the people that will fight. You shift your responsibility to another person. And tell the person to come and fight for you. We all collectively picked these leaders, be in charge of these resources. And we have the rights, and it's also our duty to make sure we ask them these resources. Why is it not going around? Why are you people sharing it? And they will explain. It, it, it's a simple thing. There are medium that you can use to ask them. If you don't want to follow them through, you have your social media handles. There are so many mediums you have. We don't want to do any of them. All we want to do is complain. Catch cruise. No matter how serious that thing is in Nigeria, you will turn into cruise and will now water the importance down. Take for instance now, this protest that is coming on, you see a lot of content creators, they will go out for the protest. They will be online looking for protest uh, footages that, 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 that they will post. Uh -huh. Nigeria, see that red? Uh -huh. uh, for Abuja, they just start protesting. For Lagos, they just scatter everywhere. And you, what are you doing? Like I always say, We've been crying. Oh, Tinubu and APC rigged election. Uh, Tinubu and APC rigged election. Is it only Tinubu that rigged election in the 36 states plus the FCT for himself? Didn't he make use of Nigerians? The Nigerians he made use of. Are they not crying of the bad government today? So when I tell you that Nigerians are not victims but accomplices in the quagmire that Nigeria found herself, you people think I'm joking. If you don't reason on these things, I'm telling you, you go chichichi, you go chon chon chon. Like this, you know they pray, I don't feel for you.